sir, who voted for me and elected to have me as their leader of majority. Honorable Speaker, let me also take this opportunity to thank the great people of Kikuyu who have afforded me a third opportunity to continue serving them as their member of parliament, Kikuyu, and as I, said, as I dedicate my time also to serve this house as the leader of majority designate from Kenya Kwanzaa. Honorable Speaker, the question that you are being asked to make an informed decision order, on. Honorable, Honorable Chungwa, there's a point of order. Yes, the Honorable John Buddy. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I am alive to the fact that we have very many new members, but we need to start training them from day one. Uh, the Honorable Member, I'm yet to learn his name, has twice crossed the floor, going the other side and coming back without going to the bar. I hope, in terms of orientation, we want to help you next time. You must go to the bar, and then you go to the other side. So, Mr. Speaker. For our new colleagues in the yes. House, it is out of order to walk across the aisle. If you want to cross the floor to talk to your colleagues across, you go up to the bar, you bow, and then you walk across. And for avoidance of uh, doubt on the debate, the Honorable Ichungwa and those who will speak, if I see a lot of interest already on the screen, so that you organize your thoughts properly, I'll give you 10 minutes. I'll give you 15 minutes, I'll give Wandai 15 minutes, and the rest of the members will start off with about 10 minutes. If the interest continues persisting, I'll reduce it to five. Thank you, thank you, Honorable Speaker, and I'll endeavor to do so in the 15 minutes. And Honorable Speaker, I was saying the question that you're being called upon to make a decision on, Honorable Speaker, is well grounded in our Constitution, in Article 108 of our Constitution, Honorable Speaker, that establishes the office of the leader of majority, Honorable Speaker. And Honorable Speaker, the same, Honorable Speaker, is replicated in Standing Order Number 19 of our standing orders. Honorable Speaker, if you allow me to quote from the Constitution, the Constitution tells us there shall be a leader of the majority party and a leader of the minority party. Two, the leader of the majority party shall be the person who is the leader in the National Assembly of the largest party or coalition of parties. Honorable Speaker, it then goes ahead to designate who will be the leader of the minority party as the leader of the second largest party or coalition of political parties. Honorable Speaker, indeed, the question that uh, is before you and before this House, Honorable Speaker, is to simply determine which is the largest coalition of political parties or the largest political party. And that party, Honorable Speaker, must be a parliamentary political party, as is stipulated, I think, in Standing Order 20A of our own Standing Orders, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, you have said in your communication that you have received letters, I think a letter dated the 21st or 19th of September, from the Honorable Junette Mohammed on the 21st of September, Honorable Speaker, who wrote on behalf of the Azimio One Kenya Coalition Political Party. Honorable Speaker, it is worth noting that as you communicated, you also indicated the Honorable Soro and myself did write to you, communicating the decision of the Kenya Kwanzaa uh, coalition and who we had elected as leaders of our coalition. Honorable Speaker, you will note from your own communication, while as we did attach our minutes stating the place, time, and attendees of our parliamentary group meeting, the letter by the Honorable Junet Mohammed has neither the place of that meeting, it has neither the time or the attendees of that meeting. And it is important, Honorable Speaker, because we are a house of procedures, it is important that such letters do indicate who were the attendees. Because the questions that are before you, Honorable Speaker, is on the constitution of either the Kenya Kwanzaa coalition of political parties in this house as parliamentary political parties, or if Azimio One Kenya coalition party exists as a coalition of political parties, Honorable Speaker. And it is my humble submission, Honorable Speaker, 
that those of us who were in this house in the last parliament, in the 13th parliament, honorable speaker, you, in the 12th parliament, honorable speaker, you will remember the animated debate that we had as we amended the political parties act through the political parties amendment bill, honorable speaker. A very chaotic debate, honorable speaker, and I remember many of us vehemently opposed many of the amendments that were proposed. Top among those amendments was the creation of an amorphous thing, a mongrel sort of thing that was called the coalition political party. Honorable Speaker, what you are being asked today to decide on is anchored in the amendments that we did in the 12th parliament to our political parties. And the chaos you witness in this house today in terms of management of our political parties, Honorable Speaker, emanates from the passage of the amendments to that political party's amendment bill in the last parliament, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, if you allow me, the, the particular amendments, Honorable Speaker, created what certain definitions, and Honorable Speaker, if you read Article 10, or Clause 10 of uh, Section 10 of the Bill, it defines what a coalition political party is. Honorable Speaker, it defines what a political party is. And a political party, Honorable Speaker, is said to be. Honorable Speaker, that. Yes, uh, Honorable Member. Please help me by saying your name and constituency. And the standing order is standing order. And the standing order that has been violated. Yeah, it is you have Th the mic, thank you, Honourable thank you very much, Honourable Speaker. My name is Honourable Karoli Omondi from Suba South. Yes. It's quite unfortunate that I begin my statement in this house by raising a point of order, understanding order 2B. Is it in order, Mr. Speaker, for this House to debate a matter that should have been determined by the clerk of the House by simply writing a letter to the re Registrar of Political Parties to determine the relative majorities of the parties in this House? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Karoli Omonde, that is a matter that uh, is way behind us. I've given direction and uh, you are under no legal authority to challenge what the speaker has directed i also want i also want to encourage members that uh, because of the limited time and i want to assure you of the capacity and the ability to listen and to determine this matter let's give members who are debating some silence listening so that i can hear them properly and bring you back a determination. So unless it's a really serious breach of the standing orders, let's restrain ourselves from raising unhelpful points of order. Thank you, Honorable Speaker, for that guidance. And Honorable Speaker, I was at a point where I was saying that the current mess that we are witnessing, Honorable Speaker, on this issue is occasioned by the definitions of the words coalition and coalition political party and Honorable Speaker, for clarity, I wanted to read the definitions as they exist in the Act. That a coalition means an alliance of two or more political parties formed for the purpose of pursuing a common goal and is governed by a written agreement deposited with the registrar. Honorable Speaker, it is worthwhile to note that Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition is a coalition pursuant to that definition. And therefore, it is a coalition of political parties that are governed by a written agreement, Honorable Speaker, which I shall be tabling. We, have, we do have a number of coalition agreements that are agreed upon that were signed, Honorable Speaker, and I'll be tabling the coalition agreement between Kenya Kwanzaa, the parties UDA, the founding parties UDA, ANC, Ford Kenya, Honorable Speaker, and further agreements with the Umoja na Maendeleo Party. I will also be tabling a coalition agreement between Kenya Kwanzaa and Tujibebe, Wa Kenya Party. 
a further agreement with the Service Party of Kenya. Another agreement, Honorable Speaker, with the Pamoja Alliance, Pamoja African Alliance, PA. A further agreement, Honorable Speaker, with the Maendeleo Chapter Party. I shall also be tabling, Honorable Speaker, for your ease of uh, perusal, an agreement with, between the founding parties of Kenya Kwanza and the Farmers Party. Another one with the Economic Freedom Party, Honorable Speaker. Another one with the Devolution Party of Kenya. One with the Democratic Party of Kenya, Honorable Speaker. The Communist Party of Kenya and Kenya Kwanza Alliance founding parties. Chama Chakazi, Honorable Speaker. The Democratic Party of Kenya, Honorable Speaker. I will also table one from the National Agenda Party of Kenya. The Grand Dream Development Party, led by our friend and colleague, the Honorable Fabian Muli, and the coalition, uh, post election coalition agreement between GDDP, post election, Honorable Speaker, between GDDP and Kenya Kwanzaa, a post election coalition agreement between the United Democratic Movement, Movement UDM, and Kenya Kwanzaa, a post election coalition agreement between MDG, MDG, the Movement for Democracy and Growth, led by our brother and colleague, the Honorable David Ochieng. Honorable Speaker, all these coalitions are to bear witness, Honorable Speaker, that indeed Kenya Kwanzaa is a coalition of political parties as per the definition of the Act, Honorable Speaker. The second definition, Honorable Speaker, is one of a coalition political party. And the Act tells us that this means a coalition registered by the registrar as a political party. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, I would beg, Honorable Speaker, and I want to challenge my colleague, the Honorable Junette Mohammed, and uh, the Honorable Opio Wandai, who you call my protagonist, but is in actually my very good friend, Honorable Speaker. They are here contending to be leading the majority. Honorable Speaker, the question of determining a majority is very easy, because it's just a question of calculating the numbers of parliamentary political parties and the definition of a parliamentary political party is in this standing order standing order number 20 honorable speaker we must then be, ask ourselves the question is the azimio one kenya alliance coalition political party a party is it a parliamentary political party and the straight answer honorable speaker is that azimio one kenya coalition party does not exist as a parliamentary political party. <laughs> Honorable Speaker, but that does not mean that the constituent parties that came together to form Azimio One Kenya Alliance political party are not parties in their own right. And that is why, Honorable Speaker, with all due respect to the other parties, and indeed, Honorable Speaker, you have also in your communication alluded to the fact that Jubilee Party, my former party, has also written to you communicating their leadership in this house, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, what does that tell you? That Jubilee Party appreciates that Azimio One Kenya Coalition political party does not exist in this house either as a polit parliamentary political party or as a coalition of political parties as per the definition in Article 108 and Standing Order Number 19, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, that then would mean that ODM... And I want to believe, besides Kanu, ODM is the oldest political party in this country, with slightly above 80 members of parliament, is then the second largest political party after the Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition. Coalition of political parties, Honorable Speaker. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, and I don't say this to belittle all the other partners of, in Azim York, One Kenya Alliance, Honorable Speaker, but that is what we created in the mess that was the political parties amend amendment bill that was debated in this house honorable speaker over the christmas recess in december of 2021 and completed in january of this year honorable speaker i remember honorable speaker standing in my place somewhere behind here reminding our colleagues that this law that you have just passed will punish you more than it will ever punish me or those of us that were then called the Tangatanga or UDA Brigade, Honorable Speaker. 
What about speaker? Chickens have come home to roost. Nobody is being punished, but we are paying for that acrimonious debate and a law that was procured in this assembly in a manner that we should never ever engage in, in procuring or in legislating. We are a house that legislates through consultation. We never consulted each other as we passed that law, Honorable Speaker. And it is sad. And I pray, Honorable Speaker, that this 13th Assembly will not take the route and will never take the route that the 12th Assembly took. We must be a house that consults. I am glad, Honorable Speaker, that we sit here with my brother, Honorable Pio and I, and my brother, Honorable Jonet, as colleagues in one house listening to each other and debating because this is a house of debate, Honorable Speaker. And we must gain the respect and the dignity that we are accorded by the Kenyan people who have elected us by coming to this house, listening to each other and debating. Honorable Speaker, I want to submit, Honorable Speaker, that besides the agreements, Honorable Speaker, that we are tabling, when I say that Azimio One Kenya Alliance, One Kenya Coalition Party, is not a parliamentary political party. It is because the definition as contained in our standing orders stipulates that you must have at least 5% of the members of the National Assembly to be a parliamentary political party. Azimio One Kenya Coalition Party has not a single member of parliament. Indeed, Honorable Speaker, in a case that was filed by Duranira and four others versus the Attorney General and two others, including the Register of Political Parties, and three others as interested parties, Honorable Speaker, the High Court allowed the constituent parties in Azimio One Kenya to field individual uh, party candidates, and that is what they did. That is why we have 26 parties represented in this House, including ODM, Jubilee, WIPA, UDA, ANC, Ford Kenya, and all our other parties. Honorable Speaker, by Gazette notice that was published on the 1st of July, 2022. Honorable Speaker, this is the, uh, the schedule that published all the people who are nominated to run for either president or parliamentary seats. Honorable Speaker, I'll be tabling this Gazette notice. There was only one candidate who ran for the office of president of Kenya. The Honorable Odinga Raila, Karua Mother Wangare, who ran as the one Azimio one Laumoja one Kenya Coalition Party candidates with the emblem and symbols of the Azimio one Kenya political party. That party has no representation in this house. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, we only need to ask ourselves if Azimio one Kenya Alliance political party is not represented in this house and the leader of that alliance is not in this house, Honorable Speaker. Therefore, it is only natural that the coalition with the largest number of members uh, in this house being the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, naturally, the leader of majority and the majority party then is the leader that leads that coalition. And that is yours faithfully, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, we must also ask ourselves, because I have seen it in the media, Honorable Speaker, and without even quoting Honorable Speaker, you're also being asked to rule on issues that touch on individual and corporate political rights. Because parties belong to people. They are managed by people. And they harbor people. And those people and those parties as corporate entities enjoy political rights in, in line with Article 38 of our Constitution, Honorable Speaker. And Honorable Speaker, you do know that Article 36 of our Constitution, Honorable Speaker, also guarantees us certain rights that are not, you, that cannot be taken away, Honorable Speaker. And Honorable Speaker, you must ask yourself, Honorable Speaker, and we must ask ourselves, because the contention, Honorable Speaker, it relates to a few of us, especially those members who belong to UDM, who are sitting here. Members who belong to MDG, like my brother David Ocheng, who is sitting here. Members who belong to the Mandaleo Chap Chap. Members who be, be, belong to the Pamoja African Alliance, PA. And they are in this house, Honorable Speaker. Can you, as Speaker, because that is a question we are asking you to, 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 to make a determination on, can you, as Speaker, 
ignore their fundamental rights to the freedom to association, to be able to associate or coalesce with anybody that they want to coalesce with as individuals and as political parties. Can that right be taken away, Honorable Speaker, by Clause 22 of the Azimio Agreement? And Honorable Speaker, I will dare challenge my brothers in the Azimio One Kenya Coalition Party. I have tabled coalition agreements between parties that assented to the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. I dare you. Table the Azimio One Kenya Coalition Party agreements that are signed by any of these political parties. And I dare you to table that, that agreement. Because it is also in contention, Honorable Speaker, as to how those agreements were procured, Honorable Speaker. We have had harrowing stories of how people were coerced under the last regime to sign blank pieces of paper with just your party name on a dotted line on one piece of paper, Honorable Speaker, not knowing what you are signing for, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I know you have been a senior member of the legal profession and I do not want to pretend to be one, but at least I did study a little bit of the law of contract as I started for my CPA with the Honorable John Buddy, although I was slightly ahead of him. <laughs> Honorable Speaker, the Honorable John Buddy might be slightly older than me, but I was slightly ahead of him in the profession. I, I, I qualified as a CPA when I was in my first year at the University of Nairobi. Honorable Speaker, I was saying, in the law of contract, you know any agreement that is obtained either under duress or with the concealment of material facts, that agreement cannot stand in law. Therefore, our brothers in the One Kenya Coalition, I am sorry, and I am sorry to you, and I am sorry to the Kenyan people, because we created this mess right on this floor. And that is why I appeal, as I conclude, Honorable Speaker, to our colleagues. This issue, Honorable Speaker, we are confident that you'll be able to make a ruling on it, Honorable Speaker. But as we begin this 13th Assembly, I dare say we must never get back to where we got to in the 12th Parliament, Honorable Speaker. We never consulted each other as we made a mess out of the political parties that govern and guide the growth of our democracy. This particular law, as was passed, Honorable Speaker, I said then that it will not only punish us and punish those who are vehemently supporting it and punish you more than it would punish those who are vehemently opposing it, but it was a dangerous law for the governance of our country and the growth of our democracy, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I beg to submit, Honorable Speaker, that my colleagues in the Azimio One Kenya Alliance, Honorable Speaker, do know they do not have the numbers. They know the Honorable Jeremiah Keone, former member of Daragua, as Secretary General of Jubilee, has written to you, Honorable Speaker, as the Secretary General of Jubilee, communicating their leadership in this House. They do know, Honorable Speaker, that the Azimio One Kenya Coalition Party does not exist in this House. Indeed, Honorable Speaker, I must commend ODM because they have been magnanimous to share positions with Jubilee and even with their brothers in Waipa. I must commend ODM as the oldest political party. <laughs> because ODM is the second largest political party. And that ought to be the, the leader, the, the party in the minority, and the Honorable Pio and I ought to be the leader of minority leading the ODM brigade in this house. And the Honorable Junette can whip the ODM members. Your time is up. Honorable Speaker. The Honorable Wandai. <coughs> Mr. Speaker, uh, thank you very much. And this being my first time to speak in the 13th Parliament, Mr. Speaker, allow me to take this opportunity to first and foremost 